Hey there folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Marvel Legends The Thing uh, action figure. This uh, figure is part of a two-pack that includes Mr. Fantastic and The Thing, two members of the Fantastic Four. I do not know when this set first came out. Uh, the packaging uh, lists the copyright date as 2008, so I'm going to guess that's when it uh, was first released. I found this set in early 2010 at a Marshalls. And uh, I guess Toys R Us sends their overstock to Marshalls because uh, Toys R Us is the only mass retailer I know of that sells these uh, Marvel Legends 2-pack sets. So uh, I was in the toy aisle at Marshalls when I saw this set and uh, picked it up and noticed that uh, the price was reduced to this down to $7, which is a great price for these two figures, especially uh, for the thing. Uh, that's uh, their main reason why I picked it up. Uh, no, not a fan of the Mr. Fantastic figure sculpt there, but uh, the Thing sculpt there looks uh, really, really nice. Taking a look at the uh, the Thing here in the packaging, you can see uh, right away the rocky texture, which is really, really cool. And um, you can see his pants there. And the uh, set here says that it's the classic colors. Uh, I guess uh, blue and black are the classic colors uh, for Fantastic Four. I I'm not a follower of the Fantastic Four. Um, I I'm very, very casual uh, about the, the group. So I, I don't even know what are classic or new colors uh, on there. I guess blue and black is the classic colors on there. Uh, taking a look at the back of the package here, you can see uh, the two members of uh, Fantastic Four here. I get the thing, uh, his head in the in, sh in the shot there, and you can see a description of uh, Reed and uh, Ben there, and also um, some statistics on Ben Grimm. Interesting to see that his listed height is only six feet tall. I thought this guy was at least seven feet. Um, I guess he's a foot shorter. I don't know what uh, universe, if that's the 616 universe or the ultimate universe. Since these are classic colors, I'm guessing this is the 616 thing, so seems uh, a little short uh, in the 616 universe. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and uh, take the thing out of the package and we'll be right back. Okay, uh, we're back and we have the thing out of the package and uh, this guy is just all sorts of cool. He's very neat and I do have a few uh, minor complaints about the figure, uh, but we'll get into that in a second. First off, I want to do a size comparison because all my expectations about the size of the thing uh, were proven incorrect. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, stand him up uh, next to uh, Mr. Fantastic here. And as you can see, uh, Reed Richards is actually taller than The Thing, which is uh, kind of weird, uh, because I always thought The Thing was about 7 feet tall. But if you look at the back of the packaging here, you'll see that uh, Reed is actually... Let me get into focus there first. He's actually uh, about an inch taller than um, Ben Grimm there. And I did some uh, research on the interwebs, and I went to Marvel's uh, database site, I uh, went to, uh, there's a Marvel wiki uh, out there, and they all list uh, Ben Grimm is only six feet tall. So um, what I thought about the thing uh, about height is uh, proven uh, incorrect. Uh, I think that actually makes the thing a more interesting character, uh, especially when it goes up against uh, the likes of the Hulk, who is uh, definitely uh, taller than six feet. Uh, <laughs> and, it's uh, very, very cool. So, but let's go ahead and uh, take a look at uh, the thing here. You can see uh, he's got all sorts of neat uh, texturing on his skin. Uh, it's very, very cool. I really like how they added different shades of orange um, all over the figure. That was a little, tiny little paint slop there, but that's I can e remove that easily. You can see uh, in the deeper areas, you've got the darker colors. Uh, it's even like a darker brownish color, 
almost reddish color on there and uh, as, as you come up a higher on the surface it becomes a brighter orange it's very nice very very neat and you can even see the tight cracks in be on the top of his head there it's very cool and I love the head sculpt there especially with the uh, the rocky eyebrow here and the jutting chin <laughs> it's very neat I really love uh, this design it's very cool he's got these pants of course in the classic colors uh, which is um, blue and black on there and you can see some of the darker colors there oh excuse me I got a message there pardon me and it's very very neat I really love uh, this design and uh, the few minor complaints I have about this uh, character not character but figure is uh, in the uh, in the joints in the hands uh, there I wish there was a swivel um, joint uh, either along the wrist or the forearm uh, but there simply isn't uh, the closest swivel joint is the bicep here uh, especially if you want to pose this guy to do a punch uh, the swivel of the wrist makes all the difference and um, especially for a dynamic punch it, it, you really can't you have to really uh, pose the arm and as you, you can see if I, if I could just I always want to feel like I want to uh, swivel this uh, wrist to change the angle of the of the hand uh, but uh, if I do change the angle of the hand uh, the rest of the f arm from the bicep down goes along with the hand so it's kind of unfortunate so. Uh, but it's other than that it's it's a very neat figure I love this figure it's uh, very nice um, going over the articulation uh, one of the plus points on the articulation articulation is the head it's very nice you, you can go side to side on here and up and down you can see he's looking uh, very very high there it's very neat you can see the hinge joint underneath though so it's it's kind of cool. Uh, a lot of the uh, bulkier uh, figures I've seen always add just a simple swivel cut, but uh, they added this on the thing, and it's very neat. So, but uh, you can get him uh, looking all around. Uh, you can't, of course, uh, put him upside down on this particular figure, though. And why would you want to, anyways? Uh, the arms uh, do go all the way around. They do go up and down on there the biceps uh, go all the way around the uh, elbows bend at a single joint there and the uh, hands uh, bend uh, up and down at the wrist and you can see some more of the detail on the texturing there it's very neat and he does have individual finger articulation which is very very cool look at the detail on this uh, fingers there it's very neat and uh, he does not have any torso articulation, but he does have waist articulation that goes all the way around. And his legs are on a uh, ball hinge uh, swivel joint, so it can go up, down, to the back. And if you manipulate the uh, ball joint, it can go out to the side as well. Uh, there is no uh, swivel joint at the thigh. That would be, would have been nice, especially right here at the... Uh, bottom of his uh, pants there but uh, they didn't include that it's not a big deal since it's already pretty short um, he does uh, bend at the knee at the single joint and he does uh, bend at the foot which is very tight I notice at the ankle uh, it goes up and down on a hinge joint uh, there is a uh, ankle pivot back and forth and he does have a uh, toe articulation uh, not individual toe articulation though so overall it's this guy's just very cool. Uh, I really uh, am glad that I only spent seven dollars uh, for the uh, two of these guys, and uh, he's well worth uh, the seven dollars uh, just for the thing himself. I, I think he's even worth a little bit more. It's just uh, I'm glad I got him for a great deal. Uh, but uh, I do recommend uh, the thing. Uh, this uh, thing is just very, very neat. I really love this uh, figure. Uh, but this is my casual peek 
into the Marvel Legends, uh, The Thing, uh, from the two-pack of uh, Mr. Fantastic and The Thing. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.